Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, cosmic conscious way showers of the new golden age of the infinite way. Happy Mother's Day to our divine madres of this world. I dedicate today's transmissions to our beloved goddess mothers of Pachamama for all your hard work and conditional love and for holding our families and homes together with your hearts of gold. Mother Earth continues to get flooded again today with higher dimensional frequencies of light from the great central sun. We had another day of sustained white columns of light appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 40 hertz, 46, 52, 35 hertz, and a big blast at 56 hertz. Gaia is being showered with adamantine particles of 5D emanations directly from the Great Spirit for the full integration and transformation into her radiant body of galactic light. As she ascends, we are uplifted and empowered by her brilliant majesty. Keep shining your bright light into the field for full transformation as we continue to resolve, remove, and dissolve all interference patterns and false projections placed over our fifth dimensional home of the pure land of bliss. We hold the faith in the divine covenant for our final quantum leap of consciousness into real human beings of the sacred heart resonance. With our love, joy, and bliss, we create the great shift of the ages into the paradise of the new Eden, the timelessness of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today, so stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 20 degrees, 41 minutes Leo. And the sun is at 18 degrees, 34 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Taurus. A new continent rising out of the ocean. Sounds like the new Lemuria. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 21 degrees Leo. Intoxicated chickens dizzily flap their wings, trying to fly. Sounds like fun. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck, Sacred Rebels from Alana Fairchild in Autumn Sky. And the card she pulled for you today is card 15. Big, bold vision. You are not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big. Even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what all the details may look like, you can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active, contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something, a vision or an idea that is coming to you. You may worry that it is too much for you, but don't worry, it is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do, as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to a fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radical and more potent possibilities of creatively living your light in the world. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you, is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you are allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that in your healing and growing success, as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It is a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it is your vision, it is not just about you. 
You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time and in the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This oracle brings you a message. You are about to receive or be invited to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, leap. This oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive sight. It is already happening. Trust in what you perceive. Even if it conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying, or the surface of things, trust your inner perceptions. They are accurate and will be proven to be so later on. The healing process below will help you with this also. This oracle brings a general message of positive energy. Trust that things will be coming up roses for you, even if everything seems to be in a bit of a shambles right now. It's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. The Healing Process Say, I release all blocks to my vision. I release all beliefs, conscious or unconscious, stored in my body or mind that would have me belittle or minimize myself out of fear or ignorance. I choose to be bold, big, and bright, to vision with my heart and receive all the genius of the universe in supporting that vision and coming to life. So be it. You have completed your healing process. Repeat again whenever you feel yourself in awe of what seems to be coming through you as a vision for the future. And from Divine Sister of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful women who have birthed this creation and all the souls within it. May we cherish and honor them for all their selfless love and devotion to their families. Prayer for Mothers from Misa Hopkins Today we honor the life-giving breath of Mother. We honor the women who have given their bodies, hearts, and spirits to bringing new life into the world, whether they were giving birth to children or to dreams. We recognize the challenges, sacrifices, dedication, and love that so many women have been willing to embrace in order to bring pregnancy and nurture life. We give thanks for the mothers who have touched our hearts, whether they have been our own mothers, grandmothers, and great-grandmothers, whether they have been employers, employees, co-workers, or friends, whether they have been aunties, sisters, cousins, or daughters, for every mother who ever wrapped her arms of understanding around us, for every mother who kissed a bruise, for every mother who tolerated us, as we rebelled in self-discovery, for every mother who believed in us, for every mother who saw the best in us, we give thanks. We celebrate the mothers who have faced momentous challenges, yet still found it within themselves to love us, encourage us, and provide for us. We forgive the mothers who were overwhelmed by the challenges of life, unable to live in their brightest light, but who underneath their pain carry deep within their souls the precious nature of mother. We bless the women in our lives with health, happiness, and wealth beyond what they might ask for themselves, because mothers are so often quick to take care of everyone else. Recognizing this, we are willing to be the hands and hearts of the divine that acknowledges the sacred mother within each woman. Today on Mother's Day, we give humble thanks because of the spirit of sacred mother that has lived within women, we are better people, we are nobler races, we are a greater humanity. And from Divine Sister of the Light Valerie A. Elster, you are being asked to reclaim all aspects of your multidimensional self and retrieve your past traumas from the alchemical fire of all there is from any of the ancient blueprints, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Atlantis, Lemuria, ancient Kemet, Africa. The magic is how you handle the trauma that surfaces if you have a remembrance in one or more timelines, especially connected to the ancestral and karmic pieces we've been navigating this year. The Vesic gateway of new beginnings opens this space for all that is to come. 
so much love valerie and from divine sister of the light celia fenn so we are just a week away from the total lunar eclipse on the sixteenth of may the energy is changing from the fierce pyrotechnics of the solar eclipse to a more inward and deeper flow of energies, with Pluto retrograde and Mercury retrograde coming up as well. This will not be an easy time. We are journeying through the shadow lands, and so we may encounter personal and collective shadow issues. You may feel heavy, slow, and sad. You may feel depressed. This may be old stuff being released or may be that you are feeling the deep sadness in the collective unconscious as the lunar eclipse energies begin to be felt. Emotions and feelings will be the key this coming week. Stay in your personal center, in your sacred heart. Be calm and peaceful. Be the observer and try not to fall into the drama that will inevitably play out this coming week. Have a peaceful Sunday. From StarChildGlobal.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, Apparitions and Divine Manifestations. Listen closely, beloved ones, to your heart's inner whispers of love, blessings, and miracles. Listen gently, breathe slowly, relax, and let go of all that has ever held you back. The silencing of your thoughts now become tranquil waves of golden light, as this warmth through the central sun immerses you in its heavenly embrace. Feel this if you will, yourself bathing in an ocean of golden liquid light, through which the sacred temple of your inner heart now blesses you with eternity's only pure joy forevermore. As a lover longs for its lover's touch, so too the welcoming of the divine within you becomes the yearning for the holiness of forever union with your eternal beloved. Through this sacred holy ground, the apparitions amidst the idea of a mundane world become the threshold ripped open wide, through which as we have eternally appeared, transmit to all of you now. My beloved in robes of golden light has appeared to me before my eyes on earth as a perfect lover does, grace through the sacred ecstatic bliss of divine ever-flowing love. Breathe this in divine beings everywhere, as eyes rest upon all that is eternal, and worlds upon worlds, here on earth even now. These eternal appearances are but a token of the blessings to come for all that see. As now present for all, this, the blessed kiss of the anointing, welcomes you into the holy of holies, that is beyond words. Only the rapturous breath and a whisper may say, Feel this and know the angel doves touch upon your crown, the apparition of being present here, for you to always know the sacred union with your beloved one. From the new divinehumanity.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Aurora Ray, A journey beyond imagination, my personal experience witnessing Earth's transformation into the Golden Age. The first time I saw the Golden Age was about 13 years ago when I was going through a dark period of life. One night I was sleeping and felt a sudden feeling of expansion in my consciousness. It felt as if my consciousness had really expanded up and out beyond normal limits, which I instinctively knew were limitations created by the mind itself. It was shortly after I had accessed the higher dimensions of consciousness that I first witnessed the Golden Age. The galaxy itself appeared to me in a way that I can only describe as both exquisite and mysterious. There were small lights scattered throughout, and as my mind began to focus on each one, an explosion of color and light would begin. As I continued my gaze through this majestic scene, a feeling of awe overwhelmed me. There was a moment when all of creation seemed to pause for no more than a second or two. And then just like that, it began once again. At this moment, there was not only beauty, but also an overwhelming sense of calmness and peace. It seemed as if everything was being held together by some kind of energy field. It felt so strong that nothing could ever break through it unless we allowed ourselves to be open to change in our lives. There is something so magical about this experience that words cannot even come close to describing what happens when you see the earth 
transformed into the golden age with your own eyes. In many ways, seeing the golden age had been like looking inside myself for answers about where humanity came from, how life works on planet Earth today, and what lies ahead, and who created us all. I've spent most of my existence wondering these things too, but now they seem less important than ever before, because now there seems to be such clarity around those questions, at least if you just give yourself permission to know them by having faith. You may be wondering what is the golden age I speak of. It was like I was in an unlimited space where there were no limits and nothing was impossible. There were not just infinite possibilities, but actualities and realities that I could perceive with much greater clarity than ever before. I'll explain how it relates to earth consciousness. I try to verbalize the enormity of what I have seen. As my words leave my mouth, I realize how ridiculous I sound. To put it simply, it felt as if I had stepped out of my own body and had seen the earth from space. But it wasn't just any earth. It was some kind of idealized version of planet earth. Everything in this vision seems so beautiful, peaceful, and harmonious compared to the earth that I have always known here on the material plane. That word idealized perfectly describes this vision because there were no obvious flaws anywhere in this world. Everything was perfect. All too often during my many years spent reflecting upon the mystery of our existence here on earth, I have wondered why things are so hard, why there is so much conflict, where is all the love? Well, friends, this vision showed me a glimpse into an alternative reality where all those questions had been answered. In fact, in this version of planet Earth, there was no sense of separation between people or nations. We were all just human beings living together under one sky and sharing one Earth. It was like a vision, as though it hadn't yet happened, yet somehow already existed as what is possible for our planet, kind of like the idea that all possibilities exist at once in the multiverse theory. In this alternate reality, your role on the planet is paramount to its survival. In this vision of the Golden Age, people are not passive. They actively participate in creating a world that works for all. People take responsibility for their lives and live by principles that support harmony and unity so they can contribute to creating a world worth living in and leave a legacy worth sharing. As you look out into this new world, everything looks different. There is no war or violence anywhere on the planet. Everyone has enough to eat. There is a shelter for everyone. People live in peace instead of fear, and there is sustainable energy everywhere you look. This is a reality somewhere. I witnessed it. As the planet appeared, the first thing I noticed was that it had a very colorful, hazy aura around it, very similar to the way the sun has an aura. The colors were vivid and beautiful, just like a rainbow with all of the colors blending together. This planet looks so beautiful, peaceful, and harmonious compared to the Earth that I have always known here on this material plane which has seemed to be filled with so much conflict, disharmony, and struggle. It felt as if my soul was being pulled into this magnificent world of peace and joy by an invisible force urging me forward. I followed this pull instinctively as I dropped lower towards this amazing planet. As I moved closer to the surface, I could see patches of green vegetation offset by some areas that were a shimmering golden color almost like gold dust had been sprinkled on them from above. I was in awe as I watched how alive everything was in its own way. It truly was a magical land, unlike anything I had ever seen before. As I continued moving closer to its surface, I immediately knew that this was what the people of Earth called the Golden Age. This world was full of love and light completely different than any reality I had ever experienced before. There is no way to describe exactly how happy I felt at that moment, but when you experience something so incredible yourself one day soon on your journey home, then you will know exactly what I am talking about right now. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Ramona Lappin. The floodgates of the seven higher heavens are wide open. 
Time to rise and fly, beloveds. We are fully freed and liberated all from within. Become at one with everything, to dissolve into the nothingness and allness that all is. Become boundless, fearless, limitless, timeless. Fully remember your eternal self and let all remaining veils, illusions, delusions, inversions, false perceptions, projections, and beliefs go, as it's all been washed away effortlessly now. Become silent and allow Source to show you the truth and the way. As all is becoming unveiled in this light, all that is false and artificial dissolves. For the truth that arises from deep within each, no one can stop, can deny or hide from any longer, keeps spilling out of our own memory banks and crystalline caverns. As our true memories of a different past and future arise from deep within us now, our organic ascension realities unlock and ignite, awakening all, as we start to fully remember our true self and history again. We re-emerge into the oneness that we sprung forth from, and we are always at one with. Unlocking sacred secrets from deep within us now, no longer can we be stopped. Now we fully remember and reclaim our true self, power, and guardianship again. Rise, guardians, rise. Time to be fully free, merge, unify, and realize your true, unbound, unlimited, eternal, crystal, avatar self. Now, eternal love always, Ramona. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Asara Adams. Energy update by Adama of Telos. Greetings, beloved ones. We are most joyous to connect with you here today, and we are sending you our utmost love from the heart of Telos. As you are moving through this profound transition of Earth, many old paradigms and societal structures are changing. The question is, what are they changing to? This is entirely up to the vision each one of you is holding on a consistent basis. When Lemuria sank and the remaining population was rebuilding itself as Telos within sacred Mount Shasta, we had to remember what life is like in the higher dimensions. This is what we wanted to create, a higher dimensional civilization. Humanity on the surface has the same opportunity now. Every individual has this divine memory of a higher dimensional life, which you call the divine new earth. So how can you contribute to such a creation? You as the creator of your reality are in control where you are focusing your creative energies on. The more you are focusing your attention to what is, the more you are continuing to create what is. In other words, if you are focusing on the unpleasantness of your world, the more you are recreating it. When you know that you are empowering what you are focusing on, why not focus on what you really want? With that in mind, we invite you to begin to envision the kind of civilization that you wish to create. Anything is possible. The moment your thoughts want to go to the unpleasantness, Interrupt your thoughts and bring them back to what you want. As you are doing this little exercise, you are already creating a new divine earth. Just take a few minutes and write down the answers to these questions. What would a higher vibrational civilization look like? What would it feel like? How would people interact? How would people live? What would government and so forth look like? What other areas could you envision? Now take a moment and create the answers as a movie in your mind. As you go throughout your day, be very mindful what you are focusing your attention on. We champion your victory in the light. Welcome home. We send you all so much love. You are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth. Know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels, ascended masters, guides, galactic families of light, and yes, also by your family and friends in Telos, and always will be. Dear ones, we are walking with you on this journey, and you are loved beyond measure, always. I am your brother, Adama of Telos. Thank you, Adama, from teloschannel.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, a light vision. I am shown a wonderful vision. The collective light momentum is rapidly expanding. Simply choose and follow the light path. 
Our guidance systems are following this path ever so clearly now. Simply follow the guided light within. There is no race or hidden agenda. It is simply the path of internal light. Whatever distractions are before you, simply see this as the light evolution that you seek. The twisted light path is a crafted challenge to assist your awakening. Remember the keys of light are you. As we collectively focus on light, I see the synergy we are creating. Wonderful light. The future light world is here as we anchor new ways, old ways, with love for your journey. From KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus in Aries, Quincunx, Hygieia, Retrograde, and Scorpio. Are we nearly there yet? Venus flashes us a look because it seems as though whatever she wants, there's some kind of delay, problem, issue. Issues. I'm sick of issues, growls Venus, sharp nails tapping on the table. She wants to be gone. Right now, heart skipping a beat, thrilled by the chase. Hygieia warns there are things that need tending, protecting, healing. Preventative medicine is to be applied, but Venus doesn't want to wait. So she tosses her hair, sniffs, stands, leaves, but she knows she'll have to come back to her feeling soon because there's a swirl of emotions dickering with her stomach. And so we too are pushed and pulled from the inside out. We get excited, get scared, feel strong, feel weak. Is my heart really in this at all? Our out loud wondering send others scattering because when Venus is wearing her war face, no one wants to mess with that. It's okay though for us to wonder, to feel the anger, to stomp and grunt and swear because those murky, messy feelings don't make us ugly or bad or wrong. You are still worthy of love, even if you hurt, feel angry, screw up, fall down. Healing doesn't mean sanitization so extreme that you have to be perfect. Feel nothing, want nothing, need nothing. Pure, untouchable, a living flame consuming itself. Hygieia whispers from the other room, pour love onto the burning places. Love is the antidote. Love is sanity. Shout it, sister. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 250, White Electric Dog. The number three is called electric and its keywords are activate, bond, and service. The third day of a wave spell is always a real live wire. This is because day one identifies the journey, day two considers the obstacles ahead, and day three, the energy is electrified and things really start to get going as if a switch has been turned on. Electric is always a fun number regardless of which wave spell it occurs. So much energy comes in very handy if you make use of it. It is definitely not a relaxing energy and so don't expect to feel like a couch potato today. Today is white dog which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The energy of a white dog day is about putting all your heart into whatever you do. Whether it's taking on a huge project or just doing the housework. Love what you do and be loyal to seeing it through to the end. Dogs can be very tenacious and they don't easily give up their bones. Take a leaf out of their book if you want to get things done. It's an interesting combo of number and day. The electric dog needs to be a service dog rather than a pet. They say every dog needs a job, but this is especially true for the activated live wire of a pooch that this dog is. How do we translate that energy? You may feel the desire to be of service to mankind today. And from Divine Sister of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, White Electric Dog, 3 Oak, Keen 250, 8th of May 2022, Devoted Service, Activating Unconditional Love, Happy Mother's Day, 8 5 2022, equal 8 5 6, equal 8 11, equal 8 2, equal 10, equal 1. Day Codes, 8 Infinite Abundant Source Flow. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1. New Beginnings, Leader. Month Year Codes 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Movement. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 11. Illumination, Portal, Gate, Polarity. 2. Twins, Cooperation, Partner, Duality. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 
Keen 250 equals 7, spiritual magic code. Endless unconditional love is flowing from source throughout the abundant universe. A very powerful day for unleashing our endless white magic through the power of love. How divinely perfecto on this glorious day of honoring our planetary mothers. Day 3 of the spectacular Yellow Star Wave Spell, where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives, so that our lives become a living work of art. Today we are activating our creativity through the power of unconditional love, bonding with kin to express our shiny, bright, starry light through divine service. Tone of creation, electric tone 3 in the emotional realm, Action, bonding, power activates essence, service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for our creativity. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. 144, coming in. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Electric energy has a very high emotional charge, so make sure you ground this energy. Otherwise, it can build up stressing your nervous system and result in emotional flare-ups and arguments. Today, you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and awaken others through your acts of love and divine service. The electric tone is the governing tone of the electric seed year, so we have a very strong electrical charge today to bond with our kin. This may be to rise up together to start planning for our future. Either way, the super glue is bonding today. First seek God, then look around you to see the team of people walking with you. That is your tribe. Here comes the sun. Rise up and shine together, children of the sun. Today's question is how can I activate unconditional love, devotion, and loyalty through bonding and service with my kin? May you find your inner spark fueled within your open heart today. Go forth and express yourself. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 250, White Electric Dog. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to love, bonding loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of timelessness. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us and help continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can help us with a monthly pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com. 3333 flowing in. I would like to thank our team of angels in Las Vegas, Nevada, Ascending Folks Foundation for your donation. Thank you very much for your continued support, Angels of the Light. Anchoring in the highest codes, the highest love, the highest light into this portal in Nevada. We truly appreciate you and your continued support. Much gratitude. I'd like to also thank our Angel of the Light, Julian Wedich, for another donation. Thank you, Divine Angel, for your continued support. We truly appreciate you and all you do on our mission of Ascension Mother Earth. If you'd like to help support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at EgoLoveCondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. 
Thank you, Divine Sister of the Light, Danielle Banish, for your purchase today. We appreciate you and your support. You could purchase my sacred condors, handmade zodiac goddesses, goddess totems, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful prayer and codes from Divine Brothra of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot. Energy update, ascension update, kicking out the darkness. New high frequencies clearing us in the world from all lower thought forms, dense energies, entities, implants, negativity, control, and exposing the fake and false ones, the lies. Much is going on right now energetically and emotionally with big shifts, light codes, energies coming in causing new shifts within and around us, exposing all lies, dark hidden agendas, the truth is revealed. It might feel like a negative storm triggering things as we are in an intensely powerful transition from the old earth into the new, and we feel the resistance of many. We might feel this on all levels, mental, physical, emotional, energetically. Many of us can feel the struggle of the dark energies, trying to push back the divine higher love and light frequencies and higher divine love energies coming in. We see the struggle between dark and light in the world outside us also. We need to work on releasing all negative cords, hooks, curses, hexes, spells, attachments, implants, as shadow energies more now than before. It is the final round to kick them out, not only for yourself but for the collective. Make sure you stay calm and be the observer and keep self-love, self-care connected with the divine, the angelic host, the Ascended Host and Galactic Host Priority be in your heart. I am experiencing and feeling interference, attack energies. When we feel this, we know we are doing a great job getting rid of all the dark and negative energies on the planet. All that is dark does not like us stepping up into our power of love and light. Know these energies can also cause technical problems. Only when you choose to rise above lower vibrational and negative dark energies with love and light stay grounded you are able to discern and see the interference as proof you are doing a fantastic job clearing all negative energies and hooks from your life see it as a final and desperate attempt to stop your ascension when you choose love and ascension you cannot be stopped as you are being protected by all that is holy and divine we have so much support right now, all the Ascended Masters, the Archangels, Angels, our Galactic Brothers and Sisters, and our Mother, Father, God, Source are here to support us. We are unstoppable. Demand and command that all energies, old stories, and people not serving your highest good, ascension process, and not from a place of higher love to be removed. Request to be freed of the lower vibrational 3D matrix and people to be uplifted to the fifth dimension. There is no need to fear, doubt, or worry, so continue to focus on your dreams for the new world. Stay positive and keep a positive mindset. You are not alone. Stay safe. Let's hold hands and connect with the higher dimensional realm of love. Call upon your divine I Am Presence, higher dimensional love guides, your galactic family, your angels for help to remove from you all that no longer serves you, sending you more love and support. Clearing and protection prayer affirmation. Dear universe, archangels, God, spirit, the ascended masters, and my highest light team, please clear and protect me, my home, my workspace, and my family from all negativity, entities, and blocks to positive expression so I can be my true self move forward, shine my light, and share my love and gifts with the world. Please close with the request to your divine I Am Presence and divine team to place a crystalline cocoon around you with higher dimensional love for your protection. Much love and light blessings, David Alexander Lightfoot. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and glorious Mother's Day. And may we show always and every day our gratitude, thanks, and appreciation for our beloved mothers of the new earth. And thank you for raising our beloved sacred crystal children of heaven on earth. 
Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.